so much. Uh, good evening. Once again, my name is Dominique Williams, and I just want to, again, thank you guys for the invitation. I've been hearing about this group for such a long time, and it's great to be here. Um, can you guys all hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit today about my organization, LISC Chicago, and how we work with the Smart Chicago Collaborative and KLOF Strategies uh, to develop tools to aid in our Affordable Care Act outreach work. Um, I think this project is a really great example of how tech folks and community folks can work together uh, to have an impact. And for you techie folks, I'm sure this will seem like the most elementary thing in the world to you, so please bear with me, um, and thanks for your attention. Um, so some of you guys may be familiar with LISP, but in case you're not, I just want to say a quick word about what we do. Uh, our mission is simple. We, we connect Chicago neighborhoods to the resources they need to become stronger and healthier. Um, but that said, our work can be very complex, as I'm sure you all understand. Uh, neighborhoods face an array of challenges uh, that impede their healthy development from foreclosures to shootings to high unemployment and underperforming schools. So LISC helps neighborhoods, specifically organizations within distressed neighborhoods, uh, develop the leadership and organizational infrastructure they need to address these challenges. So if we could have the next slide, please. Um, and this will be quick. Sorry. I just wanted to show you guys how uh, our footprint essentially, and we're active throughout the city. Um, our work goes pretty deep in the neighborhoods that are highlighted green. And in those neighborhoods, we're working closely with a community-based organization to do the work I described a second ago. And in the blue areas, we do some lending and other programs, but our footprint is pretty, pretty large. Um, we can move to the next slide. Um, just wanted to say a quick word about the Affordable Care Act grant that LISC received and that um, motivated this collaboration. We received a grant from the state of Illinois for $1.35 million <laughs> to do Affordable Care Act outreach and enrollment in a targeted area. So LISC project manages the effort, but we awarded the lion's share of these dollars to 21 partner organizations in the neighborhoods because they know their neighborhoods best and they tr truly should be doing that on the ground work in connection with residents to get them enrolled in coverage. Um, so you're going to hear me referring to navigators throughout the presentation. That's what they're called in the state of Illinois. Um, so these dollars were used to hire 23 navigators. They're at 21 community-based organizations. Um, and 10 of them, to start anyway, um, were real outreach and referral specialists. And they were based in the field. And they were out kind of knocking on doors and shaking hands and talking to people face to face. And 13 of these folks were enrollment specialists. And they were all based at these places that are called Centers for Working Families. And I'm, you'll understand why I'm telling you this a little more in a second. Um, <laughs> excuse me. But these Centers for Working Families are sites that already specialize in helping people enroll in benefits. They specialize in um, employment assistance, credit and income building, et cetera. So we thought it made sense to kind of break our folks out and let some folks specialize in the organizing piece that they already have expertise in and some to focus on the benefits enrollment piece, which they already ex have expertise in. Um, and this group of folks was tasked with serving uh, communities that are considered difficult to reach. We can move to the next slide. Um, just wanted to give you a little bit of context um, by way of this table. Um, the communities that we're serving with these dollars are predominantly minority, predominantly low and moderate income, and they're communities where health disparities are most pronounced in the city of Chicago. So this table is just to show you that in Chicago, pre-ACA anyway, hopefully this number is much lower now, um, about 29% of the adult population was uninsured. Uh, and the communities that we're serving with this grant, which are all in caps, I know it's a little hard to read, um, are almost all in areas that exceed the city's uninsured rate. So this is, we're talking high need areas. Um, 